today's video, we're going to take a look at Tesla. Now, we've had a really nice rally uh, lately, but is it going to continue? So I want to show you what I have, um, starting with my daily chart. Basically, on the daily chart, we just retested old resistance up at that 360 area. And at the same time, I had timing cycles for a possible high. Okay, so when time and price come together, you definitely want to watch that for a decision. Well, the decision today was that we came off of that area. But what's the next decision? Okay, and that I'm going to show you by recreating um, what I've already done on, uh, on a 30 minute chart. Well, actually, I'm going to do it here. We'll start with a blank chart and then I'll show you, um, you know, what we're supposed to be looking at. So, um, since this rally started, we had a lot of similar uh, declines within the uptrend. So essentially what we do is we take 100% of these prior declines and project them from the new high. And if we pull back into support created by these projections, we watch for a possible re-entry into the market. Okay, and I have quite a few projections here. Let's run a few more. I've got, um, let's see, 100% of that full swing, and then I'll have 100% of the swing within the swing. And this other swing, okay, we're slightly through that, so forget that one. Um, but we had those projections that were still currently above. That means it's respecting the symmetry of this rally swing. Now, there's also going to be some um, retracements that overlap here. And there's a 618 somewhere in that cluster zone. And I believe there's also going to be an extension of the prior swing that overlaps this area. And the way I have to look at it is that if we're going to resume the rally, okay, then ideally we stay somewhere above this 348.05 to, let's see what the top end of this is, 350.25 area, okay. There's also an extension we can add here, low to high, but that just overlaps what we already have there. So the actual zone that I would have you focus on in tomorrow's session would be this 348.05 to 350.25 area. If price can hold above there, I'm okay with looking at buy triggers to look for another swing up. However, if we break that same key support, we're essentially breaking the symmetry of this prior swing. And when that occurs, I have to look for at least a deeper downside correction. Okay, so this is your next immediate decision, and then the question is going to be to hold or not to hold.